What's up you guys, it's Michael and I'm back with another video. For this one, it's gonna be five tips to how to earn an A in AMP. All right, so I know I did a video similar to this um, a while back. It was talking about how to earn an A in anatomy and physiology. So it was talking about the general things you should do as a student, but I didn't mention the specific things you should do like studying wise. So this video is gonna be all about that. And I'm gonna be talking about like professor, um, re rewriting your notes, study groups, and all that. So let's just get right to it. Um, so for the professor, you guys want to know your professor beforehand. That's like a crucial thing you should do as a student taking A and P um, because everyone is different on who they want as a teacher. You know, teaching them all this uh, knowledge and in lecture and lab, sitting in class for like five hours. You you guys want the best professors out there in your uh, schools and colleges. So you wanna find the best one for you. And to do that, you guys gotta go to ratemyprofessor.com. It's super cool, you guys research um, these previous comments and ratings that previous students um, gave the professors that they took. So other students who are about to take that class can look it up. And it's just really awesome and it's super helpful. I think it's helped me the best because I get to, you know, prepare my schedule for the next semester beforehand. And I already have like the best professors that are, you know, just right for me and how I want them to teach me. And also when talking about the professor, um, they're super helpful. You guys should go to their office hours because if they're teaching you in, you know, lecture and lab and A&P for like five hours, the only one who's gonna really help you the most is um, well other than your like you know friends around you or your classmates is your professor and you guys should go to their office hours and you should know their office hours you guys should like email them not all the time but like anytime you got a question email them go to their office hours and you know call them if you guys could call them on FaceTime or wherever I don't know what your professors do but you know I really find it helpful to email and go to their office hours whenever they're available and just to talk with them and ask any questions that you guys have because this class is a lot and you guys want to er, earn the best grade you guys can. So moving on for the second tip, it would have to be re rewriting your notes. And this includes like flashcards and just, you know, different pens and ink on uh, different types of papers or like whiteboards. So I use this like method of, um, so when the professor, well, I'll just show you. So. I have like this notebook and it's like a five star um, yellow notebook and it has like all my, well it's not really sloppy but it has all of the lead and like this is during class so I write in this book during class and then at home or whenever I get the chance it's usually uh, right after class I would rewrite it in black ink and like I would try to make the font and the writing better so that's understandable and also I've been doing this for the past two semesters so I never did this for any other class like chemistry I didn't do this I never thought about it but I did hear people do it and I just I thought it was a waste of time but it does help you a lot and also this is mine from uh, this semester for the second part of AMP. It's like super neat and it's all in pen. <clears throat> well, at least the rewriting part and it just really helps you because um, you rewrite it again. You get to familiarize yourself with it and it's just super helpful because you know the information. So the more times you write it, the more times you understand it, it just helps you. It's just, it, it can't hurt you from rewriting it. I mean, it may hurt your hand. Honestly, it does hurt my hand a bit because I do write kind of weird and differently. We'll, we'll talk about that another time. But anyways, it, rewriting your notes are super helpful and you guys need to do it. I'm not saying you need to, but it's super helpful if you guys want an A and well, you guys need an A. So you guys should, I recommend doing it. And I just wanted to tell you guys that it's helped me so much. It probably increase my grade um, like in exam wise I remember taking uh, the first part of AMP and it was like the first exam I got like a low A and it was like my lowest uh, lecture exam 
and then once I rewrote my notes, that means I would like familiarize myself with like the textbook and like not just um, usually like memorizing, but also once I rewrite it, I would understand it and fully you know decipher it and perceive it differently. So then my second exam uh, in that uh, past semester I took, it was like a higher A, but it wasn't like the best. I know I could do better. So then I rewrote it again three times. And then this time I really got even higher in my lecture exam. So, you know, you just want to find different ways to help you um, on what you do studying wise. So rewriting your notes is a perfect way to help you study in AMP. All right. So enough about that. So the third one, study groups. So when talking about study groups, this is major key to uh, success in this class. You guys, um, most of you guys are going into college not knowing anybody, and some of you guys are going to college knowing like everybody. So you want to make friends with like people around you in class, and you guys want to have like study sessions, uh, study groups. Uh, for me and what I do, I um, go into the library as soon as it opens at like seven thirty. I'm there, and um, I just uh, either focus on lab which is like looking at the PDFs and all the images and models that I have for a PDF form and then also I would like rewrite my notes on the whiteboard and so this just um, and then I prepare myself because my study group would uh, show up after me I'm usually like the first one there and then they would show up like at 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock and then we would just go crazy in that room and, you know just discussing a and P left and right and then the more you're like hearing that in the you know A and P language, like saying like the respiratory system, you're talking about like the bronchial tree and you know the bronchi to the tertiary to the primary to secondary and all that. You know, it's just when you hear it, the more and more uh, you're gonna get more familiarized, familiarize yourself with it, and then it's still gonna be more stuck in your head. And then you know all throughout your day, throughout the five hour class of A and P, you're gonna be talking about it, saying it. And then you're just gonna understand it. That once once it comes to the exam, boom, you're gonna you know ace it, get that A you want. And trust me, it helps a lot. Once you uh, always talk about um, something, you know you really do show it, and you just uh, excel in the exams. And also, it helps you in the future with your uh, major and your career. Um, just talking about A and P. All right. So the fourth tip I have to give you guys is using the book. So. I have here uh, my book. It's it's covered by like this uh, blue cover. It's a uh, pretty lengthy, lengthy and thick. It's about like thousand pages. Yep, over a thousand pages long. But it's just the basic. Uh, I think this is the thirteenth, fourteenth edition of Anatomy Physiology. I don't know the covers. It's being covered. So this is the fourteenth edition of the Wiley. And um, I just got this on Chegg. So um, there are some cheap websites uh, like Chegg and uh, Amazon. And um, but if you guys want to go above and beyond, and you guys want to rent it or actually buy it at your college store bookstore, uh, go ahead. But honestly, the book is really helpful because it has some uh, has diagrams like this. So this right here, it's like showing the heart. And all the layers that's a part of or that's a part of it and I really just want to like um, decipher all the diagrams and pictures because it has some really important stuff that you're not gonna actually visualize during lecture so say you're taking notes during lecture and you're like hearing all this nonsense and <laughs> trust me it it'd be like that sometimes when you're just sitting there for like damn near one hour to an hour and a half and you're your professor is just throwing stuff at you, at you left and right and you can't picture it so you go back to the book after lecture or whenever you can and you look at the diagram and you you know compare it compare and contrast with your notes to the book and then especially uh, going along with like if you got like homework packets or like uh, study guides the book helps a lot because that information is legit and is 100% facts and your professor is probably getting the information from the book as well uh, so the book helps a lot so you want to use those diagrams and pictures the most but also look at like the vocabulary the bolded words 
and the charts of um, the models in the book as well. All right, so the last tip, it came down to number five. The most important tip I can give you guys is effort. I know you guys hear this a lot, and um, it really does um, show in this class. I've never worked harder than ever in this class. So last semester, I took the first part of AMP, and that class was crazy. And now I'm taking in this semester the second part of N of AMP, and now it's just even more crazier. But it's kind of odd because I'm doing better than I was in um, the first part of AMP. Like as of now, like I'm like over mid semester. I'm like closer to the end of the semester, and now I got like a, a super high A, like of 96 something. So I'm kind of happy of where I've been. You know, you want to try new things. Um, you know, don't just keep doing the same study habits. You want to try and uh, add in and incorporate some new study habits like rewriting your notes or having study groups, you know, stuff like that. Whatever helps you, um, you know, um, get that better grade. Because if you keep doing the same thing, if you think about it, you're just going to keep getting the same results. And that's basically like insanity. So you want to, you don't want to do that. So you want to follow these tips and you want to put the most effort um, of what you can in this class because if you think about it, if you just, you know, say you're in lecture and then you're just writing your notes and then you just go into lab and then you just, you know, understand it, you know, la la, you don't even pay attention in class and then you go to the exam like three weeks later, you're not, you're not going to get an A on that exam. Don't expect it. You didn't put any work at home you were just chilling what is even was even studying you didn't write your notes you didn't have study group sessions you weren't you know using your time effectively you know studying for the exam you're going to do poorly very poorly on the exam but if you do go back you you're in lecture uh, you know hour and a half and then you understand lecture you rewrite your notes have study sessions, uh, a lot of study sessions. And then you go home, uh, look at your notes again, you look at the book, and then you're, you know, three weeks later, you're ready for the exam. You tried your hardest. You're gonna get a better grade than what, if you didn't try. So I wanna say effort is the most important uh, tip I give you guys, and it is very valuable to this class, especially A&P. All right, so that's all I got for you today, guys. Sorry if it's a long video, and uh, apologize if I haven't been posting lately. Just been busy with like life and school and work, but here we go, guys. This is it. Expect more videos and like this video if you guys liked it. Subscribe for more content. Peace.